How's it going everyone? My name is Oskip and previously I transformed PewDiePie's Minecraft base so I thought it'd be fun to continue down the topic and make this into a little series where I transform other YouTubers Minecraft bases. Now I assume you've already seen this from the title of the video but this time I'm going to transform Jacksepticeye's base. Let's get into it shall we? I wanted to start by finding a similar location to Sean's world. His castle is on the edge of a spruce forest residing on the little island out in the ocean. I start by sectioning off the ocean with wool walls and draining the water to allow for easier terraforming. Once done, I terraform the landscape until I get something that I'm happy with. And then I start cleaning it up by overlaying sand and grass back on top. I scatter in some spruce trees across the landscape and then fill the ocean back in with water and remove the walls. Now again, I went through a similar process with this build as I did for Felix's, as I had to continuously re-watch sections of his episodes over and over until I achieved the complete layout of his castle. Thankfully, he managed to capture his house from pretty much every angle, meaning I was able to complete the castle accurately. Once finished, I come out the front of the castle and add in his wheat and potato farms, the animal pen, the Irish bell, and lastly his nether portal. I did miss out the front section of the fences along his wheat farm, but with that his base is complete. Now it was time to transform it. I knew what I initially had planned for his castle, however I wanted to make a more unique design while sticking to that Irish style. I start by working on the entrance, which is one of my favourite features of this build. I place chickens behind the walls and attach leads to them and connect them to the fence posts out the front, creating a drawbridge. I use spruce trap doors and a spruce door to create the large wooden door for the entrance, and then slowly start building up the tower playing with different designs. Finally, to finish the first tower, I add crenellations as that was a prominent feature of Sean's castle. I really wanted to try and keep a similar layout design for the castle, so I extended his wall section and staggered it up with each layer, creating walkways on each level. Coming out the back of the main tower, I wanted to make this outside walkway that leads into the rear section of the castle. I knew that I had to extend this section out further to match the size of the tower, so I started building walls around his original base and worked from there onward. At the rear corner of the castle, I start building a cylindrical tower keeping a similar design to the initial tower. This would end up becoming the tallest tower of the castle. Now, back at the front, I decided to copy and flip the first tower over to the other side. I then worked on creating this outcropping balcony attached to the front. I created a wall to link the two towers together and then went around to the back of the castle and built it up by another level to connect the two front towers. 
I then added a wooden decking and stairs to connect the levels. Back to where I created that wall section, I created a small walkway above. Now, working on the final tower of the castle, I wanted it detached from the rest of the building, linked with another small arched walkway. I mimicked the larger cylindrical tower design, and once done, back atop the main castle, I add in another set of stairs. Inside the castle, I start working on the stairwell in the same area that Sean had his. I create different levels, each of which connect to the towers at either end of the hallway. This also leads to the walkways outside. Lastly, I cap off the top level and then come down to the next room below and make another entrance. The end of this room leads to a staircase down to the basement. I add in logs as support beams and then fill in the middle section with barrels, uh, which I'm assuming is filled with whiskey or Guinness. I then create a designated smelting and blacksmithing area filled with storage chests at the end of the room. On the other side of the room, I added underwater windows similar to Sean's design and a prison cell in case he decides to capture someone, I don't know. I then added more archways to allow access into the other rooms and then start building up the remaining inside of the main castle, adding in support beams, stairs and walkways to other levels, topped off with the chandelier at the very top. Inside the biggest tower, I again cap off each level and then create this spiral staircase all the way to the top floor. I then mimic the same design on the smaller cylindrical tower and then lastly create ladders that reach from the bottom all the way to the top on the two front towers. Now that the castle is almost complete, I scatter in some stairs to break up the flat walls, mix in some mossy and cracked stone, and finally add a large Irish flag atop the tallest tower. With the castle done, I create this bridge out the front to connect the drawbridge and the land. I use trapdoors to create this wavy design connecting each of the pillars. I decided to delete a large portion of spruce trees as I needed the room to create a nether portal and farms. I fork the pathway and follow along the left route to where I plan to build the portal. I wanted to create the nether portal embedded inside this rocky cliff face and while researching into designs I came across this image which features a hand built fake nether on the other side of the portal which I thought was a really cool effect so kudos to Meta70 Studios for the design. Now, as for the farms, I wanted to create a windmill in the centre of them. I researched into Irish windmills and most of them are stone and quite plain looking, so I decided to rework it a little bit more using wood to mix into the design. I also experimented with banners for the windmill, but resulted in using regular white wool instead. At the back, I dug out the ground and created this little pond and stream that connects to the lake at the bottom of the hill. I then laid down fields of wheat and potatoes either side of the path. And lastly, I placed the Irish bell back at the front of the castle and the rest is history.
And that just about wraps things up here. I hope that you all enjoyed the video and if you did, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be aware of when I next upload. Honestly, it's been a really crazy past couple of days. The growth on the channel has been unfathomable and I'm really going to try my best to keep pumping out content for you all, so keep an eye out. Lastly, a huge shout out to all of my patrons for supporting me. If you want to download my builds or simply spread some love, then check out my Patreon. You can either click on the end screen or check out the link in the description below. Anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.